Today, we're shooting at a Chinese ballistic plate. I will tell you a short story. We already did a video testing level 4 ballistic plates from an European manufacturer, but after uploading that video, they sent us an email and called Samo at 9 p.m. in the evening, threatening to sue us. So we had to scrub their logo and their name from the video, but we still kept the video up. Well, a couple of weeks later, these plates and the carrier uh, were sent to us by a company worker kit and uh, what i'm reading here is universal armor some strange letters and made in prc so i thought that maybe that's an interesting experience you know we can use these obviously chinese made level 4 ballistic plates test them and see how they perform so we shot this plate six times in total from a distance of approximately 20 meters we shot it two times with a 556 from a wattwood stoner do rifle with a 16 inch barrel and a suppressor Why? Because we can. The two rounds, the 7.62 by 39, came from the AKB-15 from AREX. Quite a, a nice shooting AK. On the first look, they made more damage than the 5.56 and also a bit more uh, back face deformation. And then the lower part of the plate was reserved for the Mosin for the 7.62 by 54R. <laughs> rimmed for your pleasure. We used a bit more spicy rounds today and we have a very interesting result. A lot of back face deformation. This is not ballistically rated, rated clay. So uh, this back, for, back face deformation is just to show you the effect. Some of the parts from this clay block flew away and we saw some uh, kind of grayish blackish dust in the clay. The good news at least for the Chinese, is that uh, the plate was not penetrated. I think the, the blackish stuff that was in the clay was from material from the back of the plate, but I don't see any noticeable hole here. So I guess this was just the result of extreme back face deformation, so much force that it blew the clay away. Now, why it would not be um, surprising if this round actually penetrated is because with each and every round we were weakening the plate as you can see there's almost no ceramic in some of the parts here and when the ceramic gets pulverized it's delaminated it gets away from some parts of the backing the polyethylene backing and if the round hits there in this kind of point as we saw with our previous test with the european plate if it hits here there is a big chance of penetrating the plate. That is not the fault of the plate. That's why NIJ and other testing uh, procedures have a specified distance and placement of the shots, but it would not be surprising. We are not professional testers of ballistic armor here at this channel. Uh, we just show you what happens. This is not scientific, but if you would like to see better, more detailed and more thought out testing of the ballistic plates, helmets and other stuff, check out Buffman Range. He has a really good YouTube channel. It's interesting. I watch it all the time. And one thing that I learned from him is that especially cheaper manufacturers of ballistic plates have foam instead of ballistic material at the edges. Why? Because of the testing procedure, NIJ doesn't consider hits too close to the edge of the plate as legit for testing. So manufacturers can actually reduce the cost of the plate to only put the ceramic material to here. Um, this offers less ballistic protection for the wearer, but it could still pass NIJ testing. Would I recommend buying this plate? Well, yeah, I think I would. Now, I don't know about the back face deformation, how much transfer or force you get to the body. Just seeing from how this plate performed and comparing it to what I know shooting other ballistic plates, quality made ones, this is not bad. This is not bad at all. So, worker kit, good job, I guess. Thank you for sending out the plates. Also checking our web store for our swag and that's it. 